cutting is already heated from what we've done below, so it doesn't take long to uh, get the solder to flow this time. Okay, now this is an overhead solder. They had three quarter inch coupling and three quarter inch pipe. And if you could kind of see the reflection of the uh, solder in the pipe, you see that I have a hook on the end of it. And like I said, I always pull it out and put a hook on the end so that we can reach over to the side that we can't see. Now you right there, you see the solder being sucked around, drawn to the heat. And we hit the other side. And wipe. And we just cap it off a little bit again because when we wipe, we kind of move the pipe a little bit. And this is going to be extra precaution here, too, to make sure we have a nice seal. And here again we have a uh, another vertical solder joint, vertical to horizontal. And we heat it up and wait for the solder to be drawn in there. And there it goes. Now it's drawn, so we pull back on the fire. Wipe the excess solder so we have a nice clean joint. And you notice we wiped it up into the joint and not away from it. Okay. And here we go with the horizontal joint. And here's a vertical to horizontal. I'm sorry, horizontal to vertical. Remember the uh, blue tip of the flame on the fitting itself, the hottest part of the fire. And once we heat this fitting up, the pipe up underneath would be heated also. Now the side is taken. You notice the nice, clean, straight bead that I have around there? That comes from right wiping.